Hey guys, it's Nicole. Today I want to talk to you about my five favorite foundations. So the top five foundations that have always worked really well for me on any type of situation, whether on shoots, in person, for my clients, these five foundations always look beautiful, no matter what. So I just want to kind of go into them and break them down a little bit and see if they would be right for you. So my first one that I'm going to start out with is the YSL Le Tante Touche Clock. It's a beautiful, beautiful lightweight foundation. That's what I'm wearing right now. It has a beautiful skin finish. It's radiant, but not too radiant. There are no chunks of glitter, no sparkles in it. It just gives a healthy skin-like glow, and it looks like natural skin, really. Um, most people can't really tell that you're wearing a foundation. Um, it's, it's one of those things that if you want to get complimented on your skin instead of your makeup, this is definitely a good choice for you. It is a little bit on the pricey end. It is $57 for one ounce, so definitely up there, but it's worth it. If you love luxury items, if you want your skin to look absolutely flawless, and if you don't have much to cover up, it's a great foundation for you. It's broken up into three different um, undertones. So there's the golden, which I am. This is... Um, BD10, so it's the lightest in the golden shades. The Ds are going to be your golden. It's Dore, I believe is how you pronounce it. Then they have the BR, which is the rosé, kind of the pinky tones. And then just the B is the beige. So those are the three different undertones. They do have quite a vast selection. And um, it's really cool because it's just a spin-off almost of their regular Touche Claw highlighting pen. Um, the pen has been around for 20 something years and it really highlights well underneath the eyes through the center of the face and YSL decided to come out with a foundation that would do the same thing. So I absolutely love it. My friend Jenny, she was the one that actually turned me on to this, so thank you very much Jenny. I will put up a photograph um, in between all of the foundations just to show you what they look like on my skin. Now that you guys can see the YSL, I think it would be helpful for you to see what the other foundations look like actually wearing them, so I will post that up. If you're looking for a lightweight foundation but you don't want to spend the almost $60 to get there, the Makeup Forever Face and Body is an awesome alternative. I use this one a ton on shoots. Um, the YSL one has an SPF of 19. So normally you don't really want to photograph or flash flash photography anything with an SPF. The 19, it, it depends. I mean, Lisa Eldridge uses it on the red carpet and obviously she hasn't had any problems with it. I would say just test it out if it's going to be for your special occasion. Make sure it looks really nice in pictures before you decide to wear it. Um, the Makeup Fiber Face and Body does not have an SPF, and it's also a very lightweight texture. It's a gel, water-based texture. Um, it's also water-resistant, so it stays on forever. It was formulated to be used in the water ballet in France, so it definitely is going to stay on for you. I use this all the time on my models in shoots, on the face and on the body as well. It just smooths over an even texture beautifully, and it feels like nothing is on. The Tusha Cloth Foundation, I would say, has a very sheer to medium coverage, and if you build it up too much, it can, it just won't lay evenly. Um, the Makeup Forever Foundation, on the other hand, you can build it up to a full coverage if you have the patience. So I would definitely say use a flat top brush, really pat it on, and it will look absolutely flawless. So this one's amazing. I absolutely love it. This one is 1.69 ounces, and it's $40, so definitely you get more for your money in terms of if you're just looking for a lightweight foundation. The next foundation I'd like to talk about is the NARS Sheer Glow. This one I've been wearing for quite some time now. You've seen it in a lot of my photographs if you follow my blog. Um, this one I would say is definitely a medium coverage, can be built to a full, especially if you use a beauty blender with it. It's more of a satin natural finish. So if you don't want to be super glowy or super illuminated, just somewhere kind of right in the middle, this is definitely a good choice for you. It has a ton of color options and many of them are very yellow. So if you have a hard time finding foundations because they're always too pink, NARS would definitely be a good range for you. They also have a sheer matte line, so if you don't want any glow whatsoever and you get oily, the matte line would be a good choice for you. Um, the sheer glow is definitely good for normal skin types to dry. They say very dry, but it definitely will cling to dry patches, so I would be careful for super dry skin. If you have flakes on your skin, you definitely want to exfoliate and really make sure that you moisturize before you put on a foundation like that. 
The NARS foundation is $45 for one ounce. And it does not, it does not come with a pump. So that's something you have to buy separately and that's about $6. The next two foundations I'm going to talk about, not a lot of people have heard of unless you're really into makeup, so I definitely want to take this time and share them with you. This one is the Becca Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. Again, it's a medium coverage, definitely can get to a full. Similar to the NARS, it has that satin finish, a beautiful glow to it. I love applying this with the Beauty Blender. Get a flawless, beautiful coverage with it. I like that it comes in a squeeze tube as opposed to the pump so you don't have to purchase anything extra. It lasts for a very long time, super impressive range of colors. The only thing, I don't know if all Sephora's are like this, but they just took these off the shelves in the Sephora that I work at and they replaced it um, with the full coverage. The full coverage Becca foundation is nice, but definitely not even close to as nice as this one is. It can give you the same amount of coverage as the full cover cream does, but so much more natural looking on the skin, so much more smooth and just polished. So I absolutely love this one. This is 1.35 ounces and it runs for $44. Definitely again not shimmery, but it does give you a lit from within glow and it has an Ejitsu Rose Oxygen Complex in it, so it's supposed to just help the skin be able to breathe and feel natural as you're wearing it. The last foundation I have to talk about is the Ilmasca Skin Base Foundation. Super wide range of color options in this, from pure white, honestly white, which I have in my kit, to a very, very dark ebony shade. Um, everyone really has an option for color in this foundation line. It can suit pretty much so everyone. If you're oily, you just wanna use a mattifier and set it in the T-zone. If you're dry, just moisturize beforehand. But I use this foundation on brides all the time, mother of the brides, everyone, just depending on how you apply it. It's, it really works into the skin well, it blends easily, and it can sheer out or build up beautifully. Again, no SPF. The only foundation I mentioned that had SPF was the YSL. So all five of these foundations are beautiful for photography. Um, they just look like skin no matter what. So from the fullest coverage foundation I mentioned to the sheerest, they all are gonna look very natural and very healthy on the skin, which is, in my opinion, what everyone should be going for. Go dramatic on your eyes, go dramatic on your lips, but keep the face and the skin looking natural and bright. I will also mention everything that I talked about in the down bar below, so definitely feel free to check that out if you have any other questions and leave a comment. I would be happy to answer any extra things that you guys have, how to apply them. If you have favorites, let me know because I am obsessed with foundation and that is definitely the thing that I like to collect the most. So again, thanks so much for watching and I hope that you guys learned something new about these foundations and maybe you want to try them out yourself. Thanks guys!